Welcome to Tango Tips with Mika. Today, we are going to talk about elegance. We are going to talk about the gentleman of tango, Carlo Di Sarli. Di Sarli's music, it's characterized by its melodical style, its elegance, its pauses, and its violence. So, let's have a look of how we can express his style of music with our body. One, elegance. Di Sarli's nickname is El Señor del Tango, which means the gentleman of tango. And this is because his music has so much elegance. It feels like dancing in a ball of the high society. So this is what we're going to take for our interpretation. We are going to imagine we are a lady going to a ball. And I have this image in mind of Audrey Hepburn in My Fair Lady when she enters the ball. So how does a lady hold herself? We hold our head up high, the nose high. We relax our shoulders, relax your elbows, relax your hands. Everything is soft. Everything is without tension. We don't need tension. We have servants to attend us. So we show our long neck and the jewels we are wearing. Yes, that's the image we have for our posture. Now what happens to our hands? Our hands are soft, as I said before. They are for touching and for expressing, for feeling. A lady never needs to hold herself or grab. Yes, remember that. <laughs> Our feet have to be beautiful. In this case, we will use again the patito, our little duck, but we will transform it into swan. So, relax the ankles and touch the ground with the inside part of your foot. Now, I don't lift the heel from the ground in order to show this swan lake arch, okay? This is very important. If I lift the heel from the ground, it doesn't look as beautiful, okay? So we will caress the floor all the time with our feet as if they were feathers. Two, time. Time is money, right? So, if we are part of the high society, we have lots of money. So, we have lots of time. We don't need to worry about it. We don't need to rush. So, that's our idea. We have time. This is what it means in the dance, to have time. So, we have time to make pauses, to breathe. And everything we do is important. Each movement has to be important because we are not going to the beat, but we have to show the whole process of the step. Yes? As an example, we will take the side step or the opening. So instead of opening our dance like this, we will give it importance. So we breathe in, maybe we even add an embellishment, a lapis. Yes, we touch the ground and touch the ground to open and take a lot of time. It's a ceremony, okay? The same applies to the embellishments. A melodical embellishment takes much more time. So let's have uh, the following example. I cross, I touch my leg, 
I cross to the other side and go down touching my leg. Yes? Again? <laughs> Three, space. If we continue with the image of the high society, this means that we are going to be dancing in a huge dance hall, that there's space for all the couples. Space to take your time and space to make long steps. The idea is that we start floating over the dance floor when we interpret the music of Di Sarli. What does this mean for our body? If we want to do long steps, we need to put the heel of our supporting leg into the ground. Look at this. I put the heel of the supporting leg into the ground and my weight is in the middle of my foot. This makes me able to open, to make a step very long and to retain the time as well, yes? If I'm on my method darts, the step will be short and I'm in stable, so I can't control the time, yes? On the other hand, we will have to use the inside part of our free foot to caress the floor, yes? This makes us slide over the dance floor. Let's have a look. I caress the floor with the inside part of my foot. And I press the heel of my supporting leg into the ground. Now I start sliding over the floor. Wow. Wow. And give it air. You have to breathe to open. Okay? And for la campanita. <laughs> Very typical for the, the Sarli style is la campanita, which means little bell. And it's played by the piano. The piano is Di Sarli himself, and he's the conductor of the orchestra and also the pianist. So with the piano, he's holding the whole orchestra together and giving it some little embellishments that sound like a little bell. And they are perfect to do little embellishments, such as el pique or a little tab or whatever you come up with, okay? Let's listen to the following example to identify some of the little bells. Now let's analyze together a little piece of music with the spirit of the Sadli in our body. Start listening to the music. Fill your body with the spirit of this music. Take your time. Breathe. Then we start creating the embrace. Feel the body of the other one, feel the connection, breathe together, change the weight. And then we go. Caress the floor. Give it air. And remember, everything I do is important. It's a ceremony. And I caress the floor, I open, I breathe. Slide. Slide. 
and come down again. Relax, pull, bing, little bell. <laughs> now it's up to you to put on some disarli and enjoy the music. It's like drinking a good wine. Yes, enjoy it, feel it, taste it, and have fun. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this tango tip. Let me know which orchestra you want me to talk about next. And if you want to receive the next tango tips as soon as they get out, subscribe to our website and you will also receive a free lesson and information about our magical ladies tango trips to Buenos Aires. Of course, you can find us on Instagram, YouTube and Facebook. And please help us by sharing, liking and commenting. See you next time!